So guys, if I was to show you two different images of two different tattoos that were done with two different machines, here's one, here's the other. Could you realistically, realistically tell me that that tattoo was done with that machine and that tattoo was done with that machine? Really? Really? What is popping people and welcome back to the single greatest tattoo tips channel on YouTube that has got 2000 and something subscribers and we all know there should be more. There should be way more because this content is extremely, extremely valuable. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Anyway, guys, as I touched on in the intro to this video, can you tell which machine I used and on which tattoo? Now, there is a point to this video, guys. But before we get started on that point, if you want to know how to actually pick a tattoo machine, then I did a video quite a while ago. So it's not the best, it's not the best, but it has got some good information in it. So go out and check that video out here, but I digress. Can you tell guys, can you tell realistically ask yourself, can you tell? Like I said, there is a point to this video and I know I'm rambling. So let's get on with it. Now, as we know, guys, different machines come in all different sizes, they come in all different shapes, they come in different weights, they come with different motors, they come with different stroke lengths, they come with different gives, they come with no gives. Like loads and loads of different companies make loads and loads of different machines and they are all completely different. You know, some machines run slower, some machines run faster, some machines require different voltages to do different types of lines than they would on other machines. It may take 10 volts to push a nine round shader on one machine and it may take seven volts to push a nine round shader on a different machine. So I think you get the message. They're, they're, they're all different. Every tattoo machine is different. However, going back to the beginning of this video when I showed you this image and this image, could you realistically tell which tattoo was done with what machine just to let you know one tattoo was done with a bishop magi and one tattoo was done with a bishop wand now if you follow my work and you follow my instagram then it's going to be quite obvious about which one's done with the wand and which one's done with the magi but just for a second just for a second imagine that you do not follow my work and you don't know who I am at all. Just imagine that for a second. Now have a look at those pictures. Could you tell me which one is which and which machine? You couldn't, you couldn't. There is no way, there is no way on earth that I, that you could realistically point out that, yep, that machine was definitely done with a magi and that machine there was definitely done with a wand. And do you know why that is, guys? Come closer. 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 That's because every single tattoo machine on the market is capable of doing what you want it to do. When you take away, like, our personal preferences of a tattoo machine, what we look for in a tattoo machine when we are buying a new tattoo machine, you know, guys, as I said in that video on how to buy a tattoo machine, I always find it's easier to buy a new tattoo machine if you're in the market that is relatively similar to the one that you've been using. Now, unless you are wanting a completely drastic change, as I also mentioned in that video, then, you know, go out and buy a completely different machine. But guys, that like aside, like all of that aside, everything, that I said in that video, just, just moving off to the side. 
every single machine, every single tattoo machine is capable of what you want it to do. Now, some tattoo machines do things better than others. There is no, I have got no qualms with that. There is, yes, some machines do things better than others, but that's just because of how the machine is built. Now, I could realistically pick up a lining machine and I could shade with it, easy. I could easily shade with, say, the wand liner and the wand packer, just as good as I shared with the wand shader. I could pick up a coil machine, and I've not used the coil machine in, god damn, seven years. I've not used a coil machine for seven years, and I could pick up a coil machine, I could set up a coil machine, and I could use a coil machine, and I could get some buttery smooth shading with a coil machine. So after all that, let me get to the point of this video. Guys, it does not matter the machine that you buy. It does not matter the machine that you use. What matters is the person and the hand behind that machine. That being you guys. You guys are what matters when it comes to smooth shading, when it comes to crispy lines, when it comes to any part of the tattoo process. Machines will help you out. Different machine types will help you out. Different strokes will help you out. But at the end of the day, I hate that saying. I hate at the end of the day. But I feel like it fits right now. You guys are what matters. All it takes is just a little adjustment. That is all it takes. You just adjusting to the machine that you are using at the time. And I promise you that you will be able to pick up any single tattoo machine and do the job that you need to do. It's more about having an understanding of how the machine works rather than what the machine is intended for. For example, if I am using a heavy, hard, punchy machine, and I know that that's gonna be a little bit too punchy, it's gonna, it's gonna really pack in my tones a lot faster than I want it to actually pack in, then I understand that. So I know that I need to be a little bit lighter on my touch. I know that if a machine is hitting a little bit too soft, and I don't wanna be there all day, and that machine has give, then I might wanna take some give off. So guys, it's about understanding the types of machines that you are using rather than what those machines are geared for. So do not get too caught up in this machine can only do this and that machine can only do that because every single machine can do what you want it to do. You know, that's not to say that there is no limitations. I mean, some machines aren't geared to push in big liners, they, they're just not. It doesn't matter how high you whack that voltage up, it doesn't matter, you know, how slow you move your hand, like some machines just don't have the capacity to push a big liner and in those in like those examples like in those cases then sure like it's not going to do everything you want it to do but hopefully guys I think you get the point that I'm trying to make with this and if you don't well I don't know what to say really if you don't um shit yeah, <laughs> no idea what to say to you if you don't get my point. But guys, that is all for today. Don't forget there is a Tattoo Tips playlist to peruse if you want to watch more videos. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, guys, like this video and comment on this video because then the YouTube algorithm kicks in and pushes the video out to more people. Also, guys, don't forget I now have a Patreon account. There's a few bit different benefits on there if you want to sign up to that. And also, I have started doing 
one-on-one -on -one personal seminars. If you want the details on that, then drop me an email to the email in the description below. But guys, I shall see you all in the next one. Adios. Now we're going to fade to black. Just fade to black. Keep fading. Keep fading. <laughs>